Hello everyone, this is Sandra at The Whispering Well and today we're going to be having a look at the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle. I've got the Samhain one so um, I wanted to get this one as well and I know there's a Beltane one coming out next year as well. I kind of expected it to be Imolk would be the next one unless they're not doing that for some reason but in any case the next one is going to be the Beltane one which I've already put in my uh, Amazon wish list so I don't forget to order it when it comes closer to the time so yeah so this is the Yule one which I really like it's really nice box it's got the witch part and the underlying bit here in green green gilding it's a rock pool deck I'm getting a few rock pool decks just lately I've had a few decks that have been rock pool so like really nice edges um, on it it's a two part box with finger cutouts it's even got that on the sides the inside is like that a nice green which is really cool and the lid is the same so that's the box it's a 44 card deck and it says on the back and the wheel turns you all reminds us of warmth happiness and a time to be thankful for all that we have for centuries ancient healers have celebrated the restorative energy of the yuletide festival the traditional harsh winters reminding us of our impressive ability to weather tough storms and find support and comfort with loved ones. In Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle you'll discover 44 healing messages to align you with the divine wisdom of the year's darkest night and the joyful celebration associated with the winter holidays. This oracle is your push, is your path to deep reflection and tranquility and is a promise of the brighter days to come so that's really cool you get a nice little book with it as well it's quite quite a nice size like little book look at the back it's really nice too so seasons of the witch it's by Lorianne anderson and juliet diaz and illustrated by giada rose that's nice and then we have about the authors, about the illustrator, introduction, how to use the card spreads, and then it goes into the cut 44 cards. I like all these little illustrations, like here, and here is really nice, it's not just plain. And we've got some artwork here, and about the authors, about the illustrator. I really like that they've put these little bits of artwork in. Introduction. So, a few pages of introduction. The call for diversity in magic. Reclaiming, shifting the witch image. A few pages of that. A note on religion. How to use these cards. Look at that, that's lovely. Christmas pudding, <laughs> or Yule pudding this would be wouldn't it, spreads, I love this green, so three card spreads, interview your deck spread, the Christmas cross tarot spread, the evergreen wreath, oh I like the sound of that, the star tarot spread, the winter care spread, the new year ahead spread cool that's a good one these there's some nice spreads there and you know there's quite a few and then we go into the actual cards so we get sort of a page and a little bit for each one and it's a nice color picture of each of each of the cards and then at the back it's got other publications so it's talking about the Samhain Oracle and here, Seasons of the Witch Beltane Oracle. So it says here, we continue to turn the wheel, moving on now to Beltane. This deck's a celebration of new beginnings, passion, fertility and creativity. 
and a general celebration of life. We continue with Giada's incredible illustrations, as always, but with richer, more expressive colours. We invite you to continue on this journey with us as we turn to the spring season. So, yeah, Beltane is definitely the next one. So, obviously, they've decided not to do Imolk then. So, maybe they're just doing, like, they've done Samhain, Yule, Beltane... And maybe they'll do Lunasar, perhaps, and that might be it. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how how they're going to kind of go about it. But anyway, it's still cool. And you know what I love? I, on the Samhain Oracle, we had lovely red gilding, the lovely green gilding on this. Love that. It really goes with the deck too, doesn't it? It being a Yule deck. These are the backs. So it is a glossy cardstock. I really like the backs, I like the red with the hands and that moon in the middle and this lovely rich green. So let's start, shall we? So, so we have Bear Medicine. The lighting is really rubbish today as well. So Bear Medicine. So we've got the name of the card and like a little verse for each. Like this one says, There is no tomorrow without the healing of the past. In stillness you shall find yourself right where you are. So that's really nice. Again, some people don't like that on their cards, but I don't mind. We've got Candle Magic, which is really cool. Cardinal Medicine. I wish we had these birds in this country. They're such a lovely bright red. Ceremony. Chills. I like that. That's from like the front of the box. What does it say? Upon my flesh, within thy bones, quivers a crawling, frozen in numbness. Shall I ignore or shall I bestow it? A frozen knowing looks back at thy soul. That's cool, isn't it? Cold moon. I really like the artwork, you know, for this deck as well as the Samhain one. So it's good they're carrying on with the same um, artist, illustrator. So that's good with the next deck. That one was Contemplation. Then we've got Crone. So this is really nice to have like a crone um, figure in the deck, an older person. darkest hour and I um, I prefer to have this as like a winter season deck rather than having decks that are actually you know are actual Christmas decks if you like because you know I could only use them once a year and for me personally it's just me I I don't particularly want want to do that I don't want to have ones that I can only use, say, in December, and that's it. I mean, other people love them, and that is totally fine. But for me, I prefer something like this, like this Yule Oracle and the deck I showed earlier in the week, the Goddess Love one, that was kind of more winter-themed. So, yeah, I prefer, prefer this, because then you can use it a bit longer. You can use this like from now until beginning of March or that if you wanted to, or any time really, but as it's a Yule Oracle, but you could definitely use this for at least three months, I would think. Dove Medicine. Falling in Love. So that's really nice. Family, 
that's lovely card to Father Christmas. <laughs> Feasting. Yes, yeah, look at this, all the nice things on the table. <laughs> Forest. It is without question a place of mystery, whispers of power you've forgotten. Let thy strength crawl from beneath the ground and remind you, dear child, you are magic. I like it. Frost. Ooh, it looks cold, that card. You can almost feel the coldness. Gatherings. Gratitude. Oops, cards are sticking a little bit because of the gilding. Hearth. So nice if you've got like proper fires like that. I used to have that when I was younger when my dad, you know, worked in forestry. The house we had had fires like that. Light, merriment, mistletoe, love that. Every time I think of mistletoe I just think of like druids because it's like a sacred herbal plant to the druids. Mother Mary. Offerings, ornaments, which I can't have, not, not ornaments like that because um, same as I can't have like a actual Christmas tree or Yule tree or anything because my cats would destroy it in five seconds flat. <laughs> Perseverance, Winsettia, Reindeer Medicine, oh, I love this one, it's almost like a face here, like two eyes, a nose and a mouth there, it's probably just me seeing that, it's probably not meant to look like that at all. Remembering, ringing the bells, self-care, silent night, that's a nice one, snow, Solstice. Love that. Oh, look. Squirrel medicine. Oh, that's so cute. I saw loads of squirrels today when I went for a walk in the woods. Star. Storm. Telling stories. Yes, telling stories around the fire. Tranquility. Love the witch here. <laughs> Turning inward. That one's quite quite scary. Reminds me of um, Charles Dickens' The Christmas Carol. You know, the um, ghost of Christmas yet to come. <laughs> the unknown. Wise men. Look at the eyes on that. Wreath. And we have your log. So yeah, so that's the whole deck, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, seeing seeing that. 
it is available now on Amazon, which is where I got my copy from. So, yeah, I'm pleased I managed to pick it up. Um, I didn't want to get it kind of sooner than now, really. I just thought I'll wait until it gets nearer to the Yule season before I pick it up. But yeah, I'll definitely be using this oracle along with the Goddess Love one. So, yeah, I'm sure I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.